to episode four. Um, on today's menu, um, degreasing and cleaning up the engine. Um, it's a bit of a state, so um, been out and got myself a bit of gunk, a bit of elbow grease, some wire brushes. I'm just going to just clean this up the best I can. Um, I'm not overly worried about the finish um, because it's going to get all sprayed satin black anyway. Um, but yeah, some of the kind of crapping up of the alloy and stuff, let's get it all cleaned and you know, loads of gunk and grease on it. So it's going to get cleaned up. A um, little bit of auto salt, or well, no, this isn't actually auto salt, this is a tea cut original polish, but I'm um, going to clean up the fork stanchions a little bit and uh, see how we get on with that and maybe start disassembling the wheels. I keep saying that and I haven't got round to it yet but uh, that's, uh, that's kind of the plan. It's the, uh, it's the weekend but I'm out all day tomorrow at the bike shed down in London so um, yeah only today really Saturday so uh, right let's get cracking. Right, at least it's clean now. Um, I mean, all the dirt and the crap and the just shit that was all over it, that's all off now. Um, so it's pretty clean. But um, obviously the uh, 20 something years of taking their toil on the on the alley and um, on the barrel and on the head here, it's all a bit manky. But that doesn't really matter because that's gonna get uh, painted black. So everything's been sort of scuffed up a little bit. Um, I haven't got the black paint yet, um, so that's that's a little bit premature to be getting into that. But um, yeah, the engine is pretty much ready for a coat of paint. Um, I may do that before the dry build, um, purely because if I do knock or chip any of it, it's all going to be the satin, you know, PJ1 satin black, so I can just always touch bits up. Um, so I may do that. We'll see. We'll see how we get along. But um, yeah, there we go. That's the engine done. So right, let's get uh, these little fork legs polished up. Uh, so it's the fork legs all polished up. I mean, I'm really. They've turned out really nice. Um, cleaned up really well. I mean, virtually. I mean, it's tiny amount. If you're getting really close, then you think the camera will pick it up. But a little bit of pitting just where the um, bottom yoke clamps on um, but I mean it's we're talking mm, tiny specs but um, yeah they've polished up beautifully so that's uh, that's quite a relief <coughs> so um, we're banging on through it all um, I've also drilled the hole bigger I forgot in the bracket that holds the starter motor on I've had to drill the hole a little bit bigger to accommodate the strip thread so that's, that's out to M8 size right that's it man I'm gonna get into the wheels let's have a look I well, think I'll try a new funky uh, camera angle. Hopefully this will come out. I've uh, gaffer taped my phone to the ceiling.
years of crud on this stuff. Oh, that needs a really good clean up. Put that there for clean up. what the wear limit is on the uh, on the shoes there seems to be a fair bit of meat left on them I'm not entirely sure if these are sort of used once and then destroy. Not sure. Not sure at all. start cleaning. Well a little bit of spit and polish later that's the, uh, the front brake disassembled and uh, cleaned up so everything's looking sort of shiny again. Um, 
obviously not uh, I mean it's not super super great um, I'm not going for a polished finish on this because obviously that's just going to go satin black as is the arm there um, so I'm not too fussed about that but it's got all the crap and the crud off ready for painting but I am going to just uh, reassemble all this um, I won't obviously not going to grease it or any of the parts that need greasing up or anything but um, I'll put it all together because it's a lot of stuff for me to lose otherwise um, so right I'll put, put the old girl back together again right that's the rear brake done all the bits cleaned up the little dog bones and uh, the rear brake lit arm so now I've just got to tidy up that mess and um, the next job I suddenly thought as my eyes spied is uh, to get the lower race off the bottom yoke as well so that's what we're going to be up to next but we're getting through it a bit of a just a cleaning one really at the moment it's a bit uh not the most riveting sort of stuff but um you know all needs to be done right then let's get the uh the lower race which is uh this little bugger here um which is kind of like pressed uh again i think interference fit onto the uh the uh, steering stem here, um, so you can either, you can press them out. Um, I've sort of carefully dremeled them before, um, just cut into it, and then as soon as you kind of just get through, it's just pings wide enough to slide off. But I'm going to try and just gently tap it out uh, with a chisel this time, um, just a little bit each time, turning it around because uh, my dremel's broken, um, so which is a bit of an ass. Um, I have got another little smaller uh, rotary tool, if you want to call it that, but um, let's just try this way first. to that one because again never entirely sure what you're going to get when you uh, buy the new bearings so sometimes a silly little thing like a dust cover and you don't get it with it and it ends up costing three quid from somewhere else or... so hang on to that I'm also going to hang on to uh, some of the races as well and these because these if you cut them um, obviously because you don't want to tap them on and get them stuck on again but if you just c cut a little hot line in them um, you can use them as a nice drift to go over the top of the bearings and uh, so you're not ha obviously don't want to hammer on the bearings so I shall put those to one side and uh, 
gives the yolk a bit of a wipe down. Right, uh, I'll try and wrap up episode four a little bit, bring it to a conclusion. It's been a bit of a mismatch of, uh, of things uh, this weekend. Um, so, um, yeah, it's just bear with me. It's all lots of little bits that I'm trying to get on top of. Um, but it, I've just come back from the bike shed in London Town. Um, really good show. Um, some beautiful bikes down there. Um, good to see a few idiot collective down there as well. Um, but uh, on the way back, I was thinking about the bike and uh, thinking, trying to make some final decisions on what I want to do with the the tank colour and the, the final colours. And I'm I'm pretty sure now. The, the, well, I know the frame, the engine, the wheels, the bars, the forks um, are all going to be sat in black. Um, but with the brown grips and the brown seat, <coughs> my what I'm leaning towards or what I've decided to do is I think a bare metal tank. Um, sort of a slightly rough, rat roddy patina distressed if you want um, something along those sort of lines uh, on the way back I kind of made up my mind that's what I'm going to do with it uh, so I stopped off and uh, got some nitromorse which uh, interestingly is in a different size tin these days and um, is this strange green slimy looking liquid uh, I always thought it used to be clear um, a little bit worried because um, I got it all over my fingers because I don't bother wearing gloves and uh, it's just not burning at all. Uh, so I didn't think it was going to do much of a job. In fact, it didn't start blistering for a long time on the tank. I covered it with a bin bag to stop it drying out, and that seems to have done the, tr uh, the trick. Uh, so I'll show you where we're at on the tank. There we go. So that's blistering up quite nicely. So I reckon all that paint will be off. Um, so it'll probably be a love it or hate it thing, but. Um, yeah, I, I just like that bare metal look. It's uh, that's what's yanking me crank at the moment. So that's probably where I'm going to kind of leave episode four at the moment. Um, I'm getting to the stage now where I need to start ordering a few bits in um, to get things moving a little bit. Um, must get the frame welded out. I've got to sort that out because um, once that's done, um, I can start working out a few other bits and bobs. But uh, what else have I done? Um, not much. Ah. The, um, we also managed to get the tyre off that bad boy uh, with a couple of screwdrivers um, so that needs a good clean up I don't think I'm going to I don't know I, I might. the easy way would be just to get it sort of bead blasted and powder coated but in doing that I'm going to have to replace the seals and the bearings um, which is a shame because they're fine um, and it's a bit more expensive so I'm going to see how I can clean this up by hand and then see what maybe a hammerite finish or something like that on there so yeah but that's got to be cleaned up um, and the other little thing that I was gonna, it's just all going 100 miles an hour in the head at the moment I'm just jumping from one thing to another but this is my old um, ammo box um, ammo tin and I used to just keep bits of well I had all my sandpaper and stuff in there and I was looking at it and I thought I wonder I wonder if the battery would fit and sure enough here is yon battery and that is pretty much a custom custom bloody fit so I think this will end up being my battery box I'm thinking maybe a cut and shut bring it together um, maybe a rivet on a nice sort of like brown leather belt or something there's a sort of strap to hold it so yeah I'm thinking possibly that um, I was wondering about leaving the lid on to make it all watertight but um, once I start cutting and shutting it it's not going to be that great so I think it'll probably be an open battery box uh, but yeah so that's 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 something in the pipeline um, to make but I don't want to launch into it with the angle grinder just yet um, because I haven't exactly fully decided where it's going to go on the frame either so yeah it's all these little these little details that are just whirring around in the brain. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of it. It's late, some, well, getting on now, about 8 o'clock Sunday night. So um, I'll wrap up episode 4. Thanks for sticking with it, and um, I'll see you on episode 5. Take care.